Okay, here we have our trout. Uh, we're going to end up casting this head. We have it cleaned. We dried it off. Now we dried it off with a towel, so we do have the little marks on there. So you just want to kind of take your finger and do your best to smooth it out the best that we can. And then we'll be ready to take a little bit of super glue and glue this into place. And now depending on how we want our mouth open, we're just going to do this one just a little bit. So you kind of open that. We're going to put a little bit of super glue here underneath the gill flap. And that will hold this mouth open while we go to cast it. And we'll do this on both sides. And that will just kind of get our head pretty well where we want it to be. Okay. So we have our head ready to go. We're going to have our container picked out. There's a little, you have a little bit, I could probably have a little smaller container, but this container is going to work pretty good for what we're doing. Now to cast that, what we're going to need, we're going to need a mixer bit. We're going to use this on a corded drill. We're going to fill this up with cold water. Uh, cold water sets a little slower than warm water. And we're going to be using an alginate. We want to be using a. We're going to use an alginate. You want to use a faster setting alginate. And faster setting alginate in cold water will give us enough enough time to do what we need to do and get our fish ready. And we're just going to take that wire. I'm just going to. Push it up the vent. We just want to kind of give us something to, for our fish to bite into. Then he's going to hang. We're just going to want him to hang. We have our water in our container, we have our drill. Now when we mix the alginate, it's going to be pretty close to a, about roughly as much water as we have here. We're going to be using roughly about as much alginate. So I'm going to put some in the... put some in another container. This should be pretty close. It might be a little less. Okay. Then we have our stuff all mixed up here. We're just going to pick our fish up. We're going to slowly dunk it in. We're just going to pick it up a couple of times just so we don't get any. Get as least amount of air bubbles in there as we can. By picking it up, you're just kind of filling in those undercuts. And we probably have a little of that. We will let this set up. This is actually a color color changing alginate, so this will eventually turn white when when it's pretty well ready to be pulled out but we'll just wait for that at this point I didn't do that <coughs> and some of the undercuts you can kind of see the that but we did get a pretty good you 
you can kind of see the, the details of the mouth there a little bit. Now we're ready to go ahead and cast this. What we're going to cast it in is going to be just a little bit of body filler mixed with a little bit of fiberglass resin to thin it down. And we will want to make sure this is pretty dry in there. This one's actually pretty dry, but it's not a bad idea to take a hair dryer in there and dry it out. And if you do see any bit of water or anything down there, just take a paper towel and dry it up. On our first batch, we're going to want it pretty thin, so we're going to do pretty much 50-50. That'll get us a pretty nice and thin thin texture and that'll really pick the details up. Okay, once we have it mixed in there, we'll just go ahead and pour her in. Now we mixed it pretty strong, so it should set up pretty quick. But we're just gonna kind of spin the spin the head around. Once we kind of get a thin coat on there, we're just gonna lay it upside down and until it cures. And we'll have that first coat in there, and it's just a. Just a pretty thin coat. Once that is set, we'll go ahead and pour a thicker coat. We want to make sure it's pretty well set completely. Because if it's not 100% set, when we go ahead and work our other coat around, we'll eventually have a little bit of where it works out. So we want to make sure it's set, and then we'll go ahead and pour our second layer on. <clears throat> so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to mix it up the body filler with uh, fiberglass resin. We'll be a, can be a little thinner this time, maybe 60-40, but you still want it to be where we can work it around. Okay. As you can see, it is pretty well set up. Now you want to be, we're, we're ready to demold it now. You want to be a little careful here. You want to make sure that everything is 100% set up. You want to make sure it's not tacky or anything on the inside. You already have your mold. You don't want to ruin it at this point. But once you kind of have it set up, you can kind of, sometimes you can just pull them right out. 
Like that one pulled. That one ended up pulling right out. Sometimes you have to take them out and then peel the alginate off of it. But you can kind of see the you can kind of see the details of the cast that we got. I mean, I have some air bubbles, and I have some rebuilding. I had some some shrinkage here on the top of the head. I mean, any fish that you mess with, you're going to rebuild their heads. Um, as soon as the fish is dead, you always have a little bit of rebuilding to do no matter, no matter what. Uh, this one I had in the freezer a little, a couple times so you can kind of see it trunk a little bit more. But we just kind of need to mark. We'll just take a marker and kind of mark where we need to. need to cut it off kind of where the scales meet the head up here and then we'll cut around the gill plate on on the sides but we'll cut that out that'll go that'll attach on to our form here <coughs> yeah we'll Follow that line, we'll cut it out, and then that'll just kind of go on our, our form that we carved. So we have a custom head that we cast. I pulled pretty good details on it. If I wouldn't have had to, as much shrinkage, I wouldn't have had quite as much the rebuild, but you always have a little rebuild anyhow, so that's not a, not a huge factor in it. But that's pretty much how you do a custom cast head.